Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our second lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called approximations and errors. So we are looking at our second example which is a past KCC question tested in 2015, paper 2, question number 1. It reads that the length and width of a rectangular piece of paper were measured as 60 centimeters and 12 centimeters respectively. Determine the relative error in the calculation of its area. Now for us to get the relative error we need to have the absolute error uh, in the area then we divide by uh, the actual uh, area. So for us to achieve that we'll start by getting the absolute error in the length and also the width. So we'll say absolute error. Uh, so uh, since uh, since uh, both the length since uh, both the length uh, remember our length is 60 uh, centimeters and the width since uh, both the length and the width are whole numbers they are uh, whole numbers since uh, both of those two are whole numbers it means that for us to get the absolute error in both we'll just take a half of a uh, one so absolute error absolute uh, error absolute error in uh, the length and width in the length and uh, width uh, will be given by the following we just take a half of uh, when it is a whole number you simply take a half of a uh, one when you are getting the absolute error so this will give you a half of one you'll get 0 0.5 therefore we can get the limits within which uh, the length and the width uh, exists so we'll start with length uh, our length is uh, 60 centimeters so the upper limit of this particular length you just take 60 then you add the absolute error which is a uh, 0.5 then to get the uh, lower limit of the length you take uh, 60 uh, which is the actual uh, length then you subtract the absolute error of uh, 0 0.5 so this will give us a uh, limits of uh, 60.5 and a lower uh, limit of uh, 60 minus 0 0.5 will get uh, 59.5 uh, so this will give us 59.5 therefore these are the limits within which our length exists similarly our length is going to exist within the limits of we had uh, 12 that is for the width so you'll take 12 you add 0 0.5 uh, so this will give you a uh, 12.5 then you also take a uh, 12 you subtract a uh, 0 0.5 this will give you 11.5 so therefore these are the limits within which our length and the width uh, exists now having uh, found uh, those particular two we can get the maximum possible uh, area so you can talk of a max that is the maximum possible uh, area that can be found remember area is given by length by width therefore to get the maximum possible area we'll uh, take the maximum possible a length remember area is length times uh, uh, the width therefore the maximum area will be the maximum length uh, the maximum length multiplied by the uh, maximum uh, width the maximum length is 60.5 uh, so we'll have 60.5 uh, multiplied by our maximum width is 12.5 uh, so multiplied by 12.5 uh, therefore the maximum possible uh, area that can be found in this particular case will be 756 then of course a uh, point to uh, five therefore this is the maximum uh, possible area that can be found uh, in this particular case we'll also get the minimum uh, possible uh, area that can be computed uh, based on the values uh, that we have so we also talk of uh, a min so the minimum possible area will be given by the minimum uh, length then of course uh, multiplied by uh, the minimum uh, possible uh, width that can be found so this will be given by the minimum possible length of course our minimum length is this one here that is the 59.5 uh, uh, then multiplied by the minimum possible uh, width, our minimum possible width is 11.5. So multiplied by 11.5. Uh, now when you get uh, this particular product, this will give us a 684. Uh, 684. Uh, then 
uh, point. So this will give us 684.25 uh, as the minimum uh, possible uh, area. Therefore, we can get the absolute error in the area. So absolute, uh, absolute uh, error in the area, error in the area will be given by the following. This one, you simply take a half of the maximum area, uh, that is A max, then you subtract uh, the minimum uh, area. So this will give us a half of uh, the maximum possible uh, area. We had already computed it uh, here. It was uh, 756, 756.25, uh, 756 uh, then minus the minimum possible area. We have it here. That is uh, 684. Uh, 684.25. Uh, Therefore, a half of this should give us the absolute error in the area. Now you feed this on your calculator. A half of uh, 756.25 minus uh, a 684.25. Uh, uh, this will give you 36. You'll get 72 here. So 72 uh, divided by uh, 2. This will give us uh, 36 as the absolute uh, error in the area. We also need to find the um, actual uh, area. So the actual uh, area. This one will just use the actual values. Remember, uh, area is equal to length uh, multiplied by width. Therefore, to get the absolute, that is the actual area, we'll use the actual length, which was uh, 60 centimeters, then multiplied by uh, the actual uh, width was actually uh, 12 centimeters. So you multiply uh, 60 multiplied by 12. This will give you 720. 720, of course, a square uh, centimeters. Then uh, the question wanted us to get the uh, determine the relative uh, error. That is relative error in calculating the area. Now, so we need the formula for the relative uh, error in the area. So relative error will be given by the following. So relative error, uh, relative uh, error in the area, error in uh, the area will be given by the following. Absolute error in the area, uh, absolute, absolute uh, error in the area, absolute error in the area, then divided by the actual uh, area divided by uh, the actual the actual uh, area so this will be equal to absolute error in our area we got it as uh, 36 so this will be 36 then divided by actual area was 720 so divided by 720 so uh, 36 divided by 720 this will give us 0 uh, point uh, 0 uh, five. So, so this is our uh, relative error in the area. Remember, if they wanted the percentage error in the area, you just multiply the uh, relative error in the area times 100%. Of course, this will give you 5%. Uh, percent. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is